Okay, just want to talk about Archer Season 8 or Archer Dreamland. Um, this has recently become available over in the UK. I think it's been shown in America for a couple of months before now. Um, this carries on straight from where the last series left off with Archer shot and face down in the swimming pool. He's in a coma and while he's in a coma he overhears that his um, butler has been, well, he's dead. We don't quite know what happened to him. Um, it's suspected that the mum killed him. Um, and this is resolved through Dreamland in his mind where it's a sort of 1940s set detective story. Um, all the characters are there and what they've started doing with the Archer series now is moving away from the spy stuff and using the cast of characters more as a sort of company of actors almost and putting them in different scenarios. They have the Archer Vice, they've had them as private detectives instead of spies um, and there's two series left and I know the creator of the show has said that they're going to be doing more changes with the characters between now and then so that'll be interesting. But this series um, it's okay. Uh, it's it's something that is worth watching in small chunks, so two or three episodes at a time. But I think it starts to wear thin about halfway through the series. Um, everyone acts as you would expect them to act, and I think that's part of the problem. They just transplant the characters into a different setting and expect the setting to make up for lack of development in any of the characters. Um, that's the trouble when they want to have these season-wide plot arches. They need to move the characters along and they don't really. It's still funny and there's still comic funny elements, but the earlier Archer series were a lot more standalone episodes and they benefited from it because Archer's really a sitcom and it's not something that should have this overarching drama um, unless they want to change how they grow the characters. Um, is it worth watching? Yes, because it stands above loads of other things that are out there to watch uh, and it's only a short series and it only comes out once a year so it's worthwhile making time to see it. Does this mean that the next two series are going to be worth watching? Well, hopefully yes, hopefully they'll learn from this and they keep developing the show as a whole so hopefully that means they'll learn from any mistakes they make and push forward with the with the plotting and the characters. Um, the good thing is that at the end of this, he does come out of the Dreamland 1940s setting and moves on to something else. Hopefully he comes out of the coma and they can get back to just doing spy stuff or private detective stuff, which I found was the most fun series. The Vice one was okay, um, but I think the best stuff is all the spy things, particularly with the climate in the world today, they could make fun of that and they could have inspiration from various things that have gone on around the world now so that I think will be the way to go but Archer Dreamland is certainly worth a watch Kung Pao O'Malley! Ratoncito le gusta danza Cuando estudio en la escuela Pajarita se cude botín Cuando visita su abuela Si necesita una amiga Debe hablar con ratoncito Si quiere ser mi amante Debe ser alta y delgadita No 